All right, this is first grade, module two, lesson 19. And in this lesson, we are going to continue subtracting from eight. Um, however, students are going to be really focusing on two strategies, the counting on strategy and the taking from 10 strategy, with the added bonus of trying to appreciate efficiency. For the given problem that they just worked on, which method seems to be more efficient? Which one seems to be less work? The counting on method or the taking from 10 method? Parents and teachers, remember, uh, this is just kind of a student opinion. There really is no right answer in terms of which method the student feels is most efficient. Uh, however, we do want them to get the right answer for the subtraction, uh, but there really is no um, right answer in terms of which strategy is the most efficient, at least at this moment. Uh, let's get going. Right, the directions say complete the subtraction sentences by using the take from, uh, take from 10 strategy and the count on strategy. So the idea would be, um, let's start with the take from 10 strategy. So we've got 12 minus 8, and 12 we know that we can decompose to be tw 2 and 10, and then 10 minus 8. There's the take from, uh, take from 10 strategy. So 10 minus 8 gives us 2, plus the original 2 gives us 4. So that tells us that 12 minus 8 is 4. Now, over here, you see an addition question. And it says, complete the subtraction sentences. So what is this going on? What's going on? Well, they're showing us that really another way to think of 12 minus 8 is to think of 8 plus what? equals 12. And that's essentially what we're doing with the count on method. So the idea would be start with 8. So we're going to start here at 8. And we know we're that we're going to go up 2 to get to 10. And then we're going to go up 2 more to get to 12. So to start at 8 and get to 12 means we need to go up by 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. So that means 12 minus 8 is 4. So that means 8 plus 4 is 12. Another example of the exact same kind of problem, we're going to take that 15 and we're going to decompose. Uh, parents and teachers, remember if students want to decompose this as 10 minus 5, that is certainly allowed. Absolutely. It's, the, it's called the commutative property. Uh, so anyway, we are going to subtract from 10. So 10 minus 8 is, of course, 2, that should not be a surprise, and then plus the original 5, so 5 plus 2 is 7, so that means we have 15 minus 8 is 7. All right, so over here, we still have 15 minus 8 equals what, but now we're going to be thinking of it as an addition problem because we're going to use the count on method. So we're going to start with 8, and we're going to go up 2 to give, get us to 10, and then we're going to go up 5 to get us to 15. So 2 plus 5 gives us 7. So that tells us 15 minus 8 is 7. So to go from 8 all the way up to 15 is 7. So 8 plus 7 is 15. So you've got your take from 10 strategy, or you've got your count on strategy. Here it says we get to choose. Woohoo! We get to choose the take from or the uh, count on strategy. Uh, because it says 11 minus 8, boy, that's the one where since those numbers are kind of close to each other, I'm going to use the count on strategy. So I'm going to start with 8, and I'm going to put my fist in the air, and I'm going to say 8, and then I'm going to say 9, 10, 11. And because I have three fingers in the air when I count, uh, that means the answer is 3. Whereas here, I'm probably going to use the uh, take from 10 strategy and decompose 17 to be 7 and 10. 10 minus 8 is 2, plus the original 7 gives us 9. So that tells us 17 minus 8 is 9. And the last one is a word problem. Woohoo! Um, so John ate eight 
orange slices. If he started with 13, how many orange slices did he have left? You know, quite frankly, parents and teachers, I would imagine students using the drawing method, they might draw those 13 orange slices and then c cross off eight of them. So that's five and three, so we've just crossed off our eight. And that leads us to the count on method. Two more for 10, plus the original three from the 13, so two plus three is five. So I'm using the count on method to get five, although we also might want to encourage some of our students to use the decomposition, the the take from 10 strategy. So we've got 13 minus 8, and we're going to decompose that to be 3 and 10. 10 minus 8 is 2, plus the original 3 gives us 5. All right, so we're giving out students choice. They here use drawing, they could use the count on method, they could use the take from 10 strategy. And that wraps up First grade, module two, lesson 19, talking about efficiency when comparing two strategies, the count on method and the take from 10 method.